We're here today um, kind of on our final walkthrough of this project. Um, we are um, substantially complete on the project, so what that means is all the, all the pipe is in the ground, all the inlet structures are installed. Um, we were able to restore all the pavement. We've got the base coat down and the uh, top coat, so um, all the paving is done. Um, sidewalks are restored, um, ramps, and you know, so all of our, our concrete and inlet stuff is, is done. Uh, we do have a few minor um, touch-ups on some intersections with some, some sidewalks and some ramps, but um, we, we pretty much stand here today um, pretty much uh, substantially complete. This neighborhood was what we call a combined sewer system where we have um, storm water and uh, sewer water mi uh, mixing in the same pipe. So as part of our consent decree, um, we're tasked with um, removing as much storm water as we can from our system. So that's what we accomplished here. Um, we actually removed about um, an equivalent of a 50 acre watershed um, from going into our sanitary system. You know, there was some, some localized flooding um, in this area um, with, with the storm system being combined with the sewer, um, the capacity just wasn't there. So um, now that we have the storm water going into designated storm pipes of the right size, so the localized flooding, street flooding in this area should be greatly reduced. And we've had some rain events um, here since we've got this installed and um, things appear to be um, um, working pretty good. We're in a, a, in a residential area here, so a lot of houses, um, a lot of beautiful homes in here. And, um, you know, um, working around the homeowners is, is always a challenge. Um, you know, um, we, we, this type of construction generates a lot of dust um, as we're digging and installing stone, so um, you know we had a, a, a lot of dust to deal with. So we, um, you know, um, did a lot of water control um, to keep dust down, and um, you know, uh, sweeping the streets as as the, the project progressed. Back in October, the YMCA's um, half marathon, which is an annual event here in Evansville, um, this particular uh, park is on the route, so. Um, we actually um, had to do some, some extra things to prepare for that. We were in the middle of construction at that time, so uh, we worked very closely with the, the folks at the YMCA to ensure we had an open path on the, 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 the race route that they needed, um, barricades up, things cleaned up, and a good surface for the runners to go on, and um, I, I believe we did a, did a pretty good job of uh, accommodating them. When we started the project, we started to hear some stories of a, of a legend that this, this park in this area used to be um, the site of a um, circus camp back in the 30s um, that, you know, as the circuses would come through, through the area, they would, I uh, believe, camp in this area um, through the winter. And there was a legend that there was maybe an elephant, maybe two elephants. Uh, we even heard a gorilla that um, had maybe passed away um, while they were here at the camp and that they were buried in the, in the vicinity. On Parkside Drive is, is where we were told and we were digging up that, uh, up that street. So we were, we were keeping our eyes open to, to find any things of that nature, but um, um, we never did. No elephant bones. No elephant bones.